prematurely poked into the wall in order to peer into the room beyond. Carnarvon's brother, Mervyn Herbert, described his brother's anxiety over the matter during the official opening of the tomb. Poor old fellow was nervous like a naughty schoolboy, fearing that they would discover a hole had already been made. He was also, and most naturally, very excited. <laughs> Although he knew a good deal about what was there, he cannot have helped feeling that this was one of the very great moments that happened to a few people. Unfortunately, Carnarvon would never share in much of Carter's delight during the dismantling of the burial chamber. He had died less than six months after the excavation began. The burial chamber contained over 300 objects, but none so grand as the gilded shrines that spanned almost the entire room. There was one within another, within another, within another, numbering four altogether, but these were merely secondary to the treasure that lay inside. With intense excitement, I drew back the bolts of the last and unsealed doors. They slowly swung open, and there, filling the entire